Since the beginning of the winter semester, more than 250 first-year engineering students at UBCO have had 13 weeks to come up with a way to fight fires in the Okanagan, and the results have been pretty impressive. I'm extremely excited and proud. Uh, they have come with clever, competent, and very caring design. Uh, I am hoping that they take this attitude and when they graduate, they become socially conscious engineers, helping their community, country, and globally with issues such as global uh, warming, climate change, and wildfire. One group of students came up with a home protection system specifically catered towards people living in remote areas who are not well protected from wildfire. Our device uses a series of panels and water to protect homes. Uh, the panels themselves will encapsulate the house itself and protect against radiative and conductive heat, whereas the water distribution system on the inside, the part that I specialized in, is mainly there to protect against the, uh, the potential of any sort of embers or sparks cutting into the actual material itself. Growing up around wildfires and watching them grow worse over the years, Rosner tells Cassinet it was pretty special for him and his team to work on real life issues happening in their own backyard. This summer especially, just seeing the obscene amount of smoke just down the valley and looking at how terrifying it was, especially on the news, like being able to work on fighting a real world problem while still studying in my first year is just such a magical feeling, right? I think that's what engineering is all about, helping the world solving problems, right? And so just, just being a part of that is one of those feelings that just is incredible. Yes, we learned a lot of technical skills, but I think the main part of this project that we really developed skills in was teammanship, communication, and working as a group to accomplish something amazing. I'm Brayden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.